All right, sorry about that. Just got a new. Um, oh, I'm trying out some new outerwears and stuff. But anyway, so um, today's topic is the today's topic. Listen to me. Um, so I don't know where to begin. I honestly don't know where to begin. The United States Senate is trying to remove Donald Trump from office. Today is the 26th of January, 27th of January, 26th of January. I don't know, it's midnight. <laughs> so anyway, um, Trump has been out of office for a week. He's not president right now. Um, it's... Uh, I don't, I don't know what the Senate's doing. I, I have no idea. I have no idea what they're thinking. Um, I think that they are just basically doing what they want to do. They're circumventing the law. And what gets me is, at some point, someone's going to be like, well, why should I pay attention to the law if you don't? But that's neither here nor there. So, blah. What I wanted to talk about was that I just saw this. Uh, I guess it came out yesterday. Uh... Don't know how I missed it, but um, this is kind of like a uh, shot over the bow from the Supreme Court to tell them, to tell them, to tell the United States Senate um, what they think about the whole impeachment thing. And I say that because this was, this is the, the correct ruling. I mean, it's just the way the law works. Uh, I, uh, I do have a law degree. I do not practice law. So do not take anything I say as legal advice. Um, just take it as comedy advice, as in what not to do. <laughs> is my own opinion. I do shape my opinions with my uh, laundry list of various degrees and institutions and buildings that I was in and out of. So blah. <laughs> I'm basically like the big Lebowski of law. Anyway. Um... Uh, so the whole of Moments lawsuit, that was, um, uh, I didn't even know about this. That's how, I mean, nobody talks about this stupid stuff, all right? And it's like uh, some, like, nine-year-old sitting there going over the, combing over the Constitution at night trying to figure out a way to get Trump, right? And they came up with this Moments thing, and it's, uh, you can't profit while sitting in office. Anyway. Uh, I mean, you know, everything's paid for while you're in office. You're already profiting. Um, so, I'll go ahead and read this, give you my views and things that I caught. Um, and the reason why this is a, uh, a uh, shot over the bow, so to speak, a warning shot to the Senate. Um, the Supreme Court on Monday run into lawsuits over whether Donald Trump illegally profited from his presidency. And you get, like, they're going after him because he has their hotels with his name on it. And, like, uh, sometimes he stayed at those hotels or, like, members of, you know, his staff stayed at the hotels. Mostly because they were the cheapest rates they could get. Um, <laughs> I mean, we're talking about, in the whole scheme of things, we're... We are not talking about pallets full of cash. Anyway, um, probably not his presidency, uh, and it's not off his presidency, it's during presidency, saying the cases are moot now that Trump is no longer in office. Moot means that there's nothing they can rule on, all right? So it's like um, uh, if there was a cause of action, there isn't one anymore. Simple enough, right? And let's go. All right, let's go on. I'll tell you what I was going to say. The high court's action was the first in an expected steady stream. Expected. Remember that steady stream of orders and rulings on pending lawsuits involving Trump. Now that his presidency has ended, some orders may result in dismissals of cases since Trump is no longer president. In other cases, proceedings that have been delayed because Trump was in the White House could resume, and their pace even quicken. Why was that put in there? That's such a biased line. Um, cases against Trump. Yeah. 
We're not talking about that. We're not going to get lost in that fog, okay? Um, let's see here. The justice threw out Trump's challenge to lower courts. And so what they're saying is there's that uh, uh, lower courts had uh, allowed lawsuits to go forward, saying that uh, Trump had uh, violated the Moments Clause. Oh, here you go. The Moments Clause by accepting payments from foreign and domestic officials who stay at Trump International Hotel and patronize other businesses owned by the former president and his family. So Trump's challenge is, is that the lower courts have said, we're going to go ahead and allow the lawsuit to proceed. And uh, Trump, you know, of course, appealed their decision, said, no, you shouldn't let it deceive because you've not stated any cause of action here. Uh, the high court also ordered the lower court rulings. This is the, the meat and potatoes right here. So the Supreme Court ruled, uh, ordered, and let me tell you what, judges hate when they get orders from a, a higher court. It's a, it's an ego thing or something with them. But anyway, uh, the Supreme Court ordered the lower court's rulings thrown out as well and directed appeals courts in New York and Richmond, Virginia to dismiss the suits as moot now that Trump is no longer in office. So, the Supreme Court came down with a legal hammer on them. And it's like, well, are you stupid? Are you stupid? Like, um, now I get it that, like, you know, they allow this stuff to happen and whatnot. But this is also why this isn't the role, the role of courts uh, for the presidency. The presidency should be held to accountability in the House and the Senate through the impeachment process. Of course, that is a mockery in and of itself. So, anyway, um, the outcome leaves no appellate court opinions on the books in an area of the law that has been rarely explored in U.S. history. It goes back to my nine-year-old with the Constitution analogy. The case involves suits filed by Maryland and the District of Columbia and high-end restaurants and hotels in New York and D.C. that found themselves in the uh, an un, uh, uninviable, sorry, I don't know why I had a hard time there, uninviable position of having to compete with businesses owned by the President of the United States. Yeah, they didn't offer as good of rates, okay? I mean, that's just what it boils down to. I also bet that Trump security, like, the dude, has, his paranoia is, like, through the roof, right? So he probably has the safest places there are. I heard like Steve Wynn, that's a, a President Trump's uh, a friend. He owns, you know, the Wynn Hotels and Casinos out in Vegas. I heard that guy employs basically his own army. Like if you're in Vegas and the end of the world happens, you can do whatever you can to get to a Wynn resort. Um, like, I don't even think, I think they come out and tell the police not to come in. <laughs> I mean, it's like something ridiculous. Uh, with, uh, but like they don't want the, the the reason why they would say that is because like they don't want the police to mess up like a crime scene or something. It is they're just phenomenal. Um, anyway, uh, the suit sought financial um, records. God, they're all in financial records. It's like they want to figure out how he got rich so they can uh, records showing how much state and foreign governments have paid the Trump organization to stay and eat at Trump-owned properties. I mean, the whore, right? Nobody goes after Ronald McDonald. Um, what's, uh, oh, uh, Mayor McCheese, is that his name? Anyway, sorry. The suit saw, uh, went through that one. The case has never reached uh, the point where any records had to be turned over, but Carl Racine and Brian Frost, the Attorney General of Washington, D.C. and Maryland, respectively, said in a joint statement, that ruling by a federal judge in Maryland that went against Trump will serve as president to help stop anyone else that's using the presidency or other federal office for personal financial gain the way the President Trump has over the past four years. These guys, I don't know how they got through law school, okay? And they probably, like, graduated from freaking Harvard or something, you know, just unbelievable great school. Um, the Just look at the, the language in here where it talks about... Uh, uh, oh, where we go here? So the high court also ordered the lower courts to throw out <laughs> as well and directed appeals courts in New York and Richmond to dismiss the suits as moot. In terms of the outcome leaves no appellate court opinions on the books in this area of the law. So 
how how are you going to use something you can't cite? That's th these people are idiots, absolute idiots. Carl Racine and Brian Frosch, don't hire them, okay? Because they're not very smart people. Um, let's see here. Stop paying money for president. It's just it's stupid. We'll serve as president. No, it won't. It will serve as that. Somebody uh, utilized a clause in the Constitution that hadn't been used before. Oh, wow. Well, you know. <laughs> Kiss my grits, right? Jeez. Uh, other cases involving Trump remain in the Supreme Court and lower courts. Trump is trying to block the Manhattan District Court's enforcement of subpoena versus tax orders. None of that matters. Okay. What this whole what I was saying, though, is that why this is a uh, shot fired across the bow of the Senate is because the case is moot. Okay, he's no longer in office. It's right here. It's in the first paragraph. Um, the court said Monday. Uh, the court on Monday brought an end to lawsuits, saying the cases are moot now that Trump is no longer in office. Chuck Schumer, dude, quit showing off in front of the camera talking about erections when Trump is no longer in office. Y'all saw that, right? <laughs> About Schumer saying he, he had an erection for Trump or something. It was such a clown world, man. Such a clown world. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be... They're going to ride this one out like this. They're going to be like, how? what do you want Trump to do? What? There's nothing they can do to him. There's absolutely nothing they can do to him. This is almost like uh, ex post facto type of stuff they're trying to do. It's just, it's weird... It's weird. It's odd. It, it here's the thing. It tears at our fabric, and I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. We've got to say no to this. Okay, uh, this is just the, the the people that are elected right now are children. Okay, they're absolute children. The ones that are elected that are kind of like joking about it and come up with some like absurd things, they're doing it to point out the absurdity. Of what's happened DC it's not just a swamp it's it's a like a primordial cesspool trapped in a black hole uh, it's freaking it sucks I mean it is I remember I was I, when I got college I wanted to go work in DC I just remember the the problem I kept running into Doors kept being closed in my face because my parents weren't rich. You know, everybody who was there, everybody who was a, a staff assistant, um, was they're from rich families. You had to be to live there. Uh, it's just it, it's it's not right, you know, and that's what uh, you should not have any government where the poorest of people that are trying as hard as they can as uh, hard as they can they're tr giving it all and for whatever circumstances aren't part of the you know the cool kids the elite group whatever they should have the equal chance to succeed and that includes also if you're financially rich the opposite of what I'm talking about like where you have Donald Trump who was who is financially wealthy but he's not an elite, you know? He doesn't have a membership, and he'll never have a membership at Augusta, all right? Um, it's just, there's always a bigger fish. Be, so, I don't know. Just don't get eaten up with it, all right? It's, there's better things, and when you're out here doing stuff like this, you don't care about people, all right? You just don't care about people when you're out here like acting like the Senate is right now. But anyway, we care about people, and so let's go ahead and let's get this channel above a thousand uh, subscribers, please, so that we can do some cool stuff on on YouTube. Uh, Twitter's dying. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. Uh, if you had any type of uh, following, it, it's just they're all being deleted. Uh, it's a mass exodus right now. Um, it's uh, it's surreal. I don't know what's gonna be left on, on Twitter, especially when you look at the. Uh, demographics and numbers of the people that are supposedly on there uh twitter's worth what are they worth uh 15 trillion dollars or whatever 
if there were fifteen trillion dollars, there's <laughs> whatever it is. Th- there's one person on-, on Twitter. I mean, that that's it. Jack, I guess, is the only guy. Um, everything else is a bot. It's so funny. You can you can start to spot their algorithms. They're so slow. Um, what's the hit? Uh, certain number of followers, man. They've been cleared to go out, and they get all sorts of uh, frontline access. But yeah, Twitter's just dead. So uh, follow me on his on this. Give me a like. Put me in the background and hit play. Let it go through if you don't mind. And because uh, I'm, so, I, we'll just keep doing this, man. We'll just keep chipping away at the mountain. We're not gonna let. Uh, uh, we're not gonna let the. Um, oh, the Illuminati have. <laughs> is that considered a conspiracy word now? I don't even know. This is such a crazy BS crap. Um, that's the same word twice, right? Anyway, y'all, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Be good to each other. Uh, love y'all. Uh, do something nice today for somebody. Call your mother. And uh, peace out, y'all. All right. <laughs> Lawsuits against Trump are moot because he's no longer the president. You can't sue the president if he's not the president. Uh, same way with the impeachment, the removal. The Senate's one power is to remove him from office. He's gone. They did. They kept moving back to D.C. to moving back. Um, I could give you a conspiracy about that one, but I won't. Anyway, peace, love, be good to each other. And uh, we'll see you later on. Bye, y'all.